Hello friends, welcome to the 13th episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode we have learned how to interact with Joomla database and also in the uh, in the previous tutorial we have learned how to add language file, how to add toolbar, how to add menus, sub menus in our component. So these skills uh, we will use and will create an application so, um, like uh, for this demonstration I will create an application called open chat so what it will be the application from the front end uh, the Joomla user can chat with other uh, user and uh, from the back end the administrator can see the chat messages as well as administrator can block an user so uh, this is the simple applications I'm creating uh, because um, you can understand that uh, you have learned these technologies like uh, um, how to interact with Joomla database, how to create menus. So using that uh, portion, we are able to create any applications. But after that, we also see that uh, what are the drawback in current applications? Why we need to switch to the MVC architecture? So that will be very good uh, for you guys who are learning Joomla. So let's start. Uh, so at first we will create the uh, basic component structure. I have collected few resources which is uh, needed to our component. Like this icon, I will use that. Okay, and also we need the jQuery because we will also use the Ajax in our component. So let's start. So our component name is com underscore open chat. Okay, now we have to follow some directory structure like for the font end components com underscore open chat and for the back end administrator and components components inside com underscore open chat and also in the front end we need a language file language we need a media folder and in the back end we need a language file we need two language file so let's create the language our default language will be a British English great British English so English great British and now we have to create two files one is system a language file another is our normal language file so the syntax will be component name like uh, English great British now dot com in the previous tutorial I have explained all this so I'm not going to explain once again open chat dot ini and let's copy this name and create one more that will be sys dot ini sys dot ini in the front end we also need language file so engb and this file and in the media folder we need uh, one CSS folder one images folder and JavaScript folder so let's copy our resources so we need this icon so copy to your images directory here and we need that JavaScript resource cut media js and we will create an um, javascript like frontend chart js and also on the css we need open chat dot css okay so um, now we have to create a uh, few things like 
the backend uh, main file so open chat dot php and of course the blank index dot html file so that nobody can list our directory structure save and copy this file to several places like inside here we don't need gen here we don't need because they are already an index.html in the Joomla and here the front end is openchat.php inside here we want an index.html blank here also we want and in the JS okay so I think uh, now we need some SQL file so uh, for this reason um, let's create a install.sql on install.sql and update we don't need update so um, I need uh, the uh, following tables one I need uh, for storing all the messages so messages and two blocked users so uh, in the first table we will store all the messages so table name will be like our convention we have learned in the uh, past tutorial so our component name open chat message like this one and one more table open chat underscore blocked users okay so these two tables we need so let's create the query so create table has underscore underscore this one uh, it's better to write if not exist not exist create table if not exist then we will specify all the fields one will be id 10 null primary key auto auto increment user id which is also 10 not null where we will store uh, who is sending the chat message and message is the uh, we need uh, we also use this text and finally we need one date time field so date time time stamp not null and um, it's automatically updated so we need some default value so default current this is the mysql inbuilt function which will update the column value timestamp current timestamp okay so we have created this uh, sorry table structure and we need another one so let's copy and paste so we need the id user id and message it's a barker where admin can add message like um, you have spammed so you are not allowed you cannot log in etc or leave that
so uh, we have created this two table now we have to write the um, uninstall query drop table if exist this one copy paste and this table sorry so we have uh, created the install.sql and uninstall.sql so in the next uh, episode we will create the zip file okay thank you